Hi there, welcome to another Meeples and Milkshakes Board Game Cafe unboxing video. I'm Jim. We have four boxes to unbox. Let's get right to it. So we have some new stuff and some restocks in here. First up, restock of Small World of Warcraft. This is the World of Warcraft themed version of Small World, which is a really fun, I don't know, what would you call it, like an area control game, I guess would be what you would call this, um, using the Warcraft uh, creatures and races instead of the standard Small World uh, selection of fantasy creatures. Uh, we were running low on this, so just brought another one in so that we're, we'll have it on the shelves. Also had run out of uh, the Gollum edition of Century, which has a uh, different art than the standard version called Century Spice Road. Um, I quite like the uh, Gollum art. Actually, I kind of like both, but uh, probably prefer the Gollum edition. It uh, reminds me of the Iron Giant, which I really like that movie. And then we have a restock of Patchwork, the great two-player game by Uwe Rosenberg, in which you are competing with your opponent to build the best quilt using um, Petromino-type uh, shapes. It's a very, very, very good two-player game. It's also at the cafe. And then finally, this is the first time I'm seeing this. This is the 25th anniversary edition of Catan. Comes in a big square box instead of the rectangular shaped box that the uh, other game comes in. You see that this includes the five to six player extension and it includes the uh, helper scenario. It includes card sleeves, card sorting trays, and dice and player pieces. So this is pretty cool. Uh, you can see on the back of the box, there's a whole lot of cool stuff going on there. Um, very nice. I missed out on the last anniversary edition of Catan, so I'm glad that uh, I'm able to see this one. This is the 25th anniversary edition of Catan. Slightly cheating because that box was already opened by somebody accidentally. Oh, here's another copy of Patchwork. So we have three in stock now. Another restock, the Crystal Mosaic expansion for the base Azul, like the original Azul game. It includes some trays and um, some other things I can't remember exactly. Uh, challenging new double-sided player boards. Oh yeah, so different shapes, like um, different uh, requirements, which is uh, nice if you've uh, played tons of Azul and you want something different. And then a restock on Summer Pavilion, which is the third in the Azul series. It is the most uh, complex, I suppose you would say. Of the three, I don't know if complex is the, the, the best word for it, but there's definitely a little bit more to it than regular Azul. I, I greatly prefer this uh, over the other two. Um, I love all three of them, as I've said before, but I do like the added, uh, you know, stuff in this one. It's a bit thinkier, and I uh, really, really appreciate the, uh, the puzzle in this one. And then we have a box in the box. Oh, love letter. Okay, so this is going to be... Yeah, we had been sold out of Love Letter for a little while. So this will should be a display. Yes, it is. Love Letter. So we'll open this up. It's a display box. With six copies of Love Letter in it. There you go. So this will be on the counter at the cafe very soon. I love uh, Love Letter. It's a really fun uh, game for, I think it says six players. Yeah, there's a different version that goes to eight, but this version plays to six. It's a uh, very simple to learn game, very quick to play. Usually you play several rounds of this with your friends. It's uh, very quick and easy to learn, and it's a great game. Been looking forward to this one coming in. Haven't had it at the store before. This is the this War of Mine, uh, very nice components in this game. Definitely want to check this one out on Board Game Geek. Might be something that you're interested in, this War of Mine. And we've brought in some special orders of uh, Fireball Island expansions. So this is the Wreck of the Crimson Cutlass. Looks pretty darn neat, like all of the Fireball Island stuff. And another special order, Gunslinger vs. Samurai, Dice Throne Season 2. Oh, here we go. Circadian's First Light. I was expecting this in a bigger box. This uh, was going to be a special order, but the person changed their mind, but I decided to bring it in anyway. Um, I've forgotten 
usually with the special orders, I don't, I don't um, necessarily need to spend as much time researching it. So I can't remember how much, too much about this one, but it does look very, very cool. There's a lot, a lot going on there. I'm trying to remember, this is the designer of, oh man, it's, this time I've trying to, been trying to remember the designer of, I think it's Architects of the West Kingdom, could be wrong. Correct me, let me know. Uh, there's, there's, the designer of this game has done some other good games, basically is what I'm trying to say. So there you go, Circadian's First Light. We have two of those in stock. Another special order here. We have Warp's Edge. This is a Solitaire game from Renegade Game Studios. Don't know too much about it. The person who's ordered this is uh, looking forward to it. It's a game by Scott Alms, and he's a very good designer. Looks pretty neat. Then we have some more Fireball Island expansions. We have The Last Adventure, which I think adds, increases the player count. And then we have Crouching Tiger Hidden Bees. Right, right. That one, pretty interesting. And then, wow, Spider Springs. Look at that, that's cool. Huh. Some kind of uh, spiders are gonna be shooting in there. That scares the heck out of me. I hate spiders. Then we have a restock of Survive. We brought that in a little while ago and it was sold out right away. Uh, this is a classic game. This is the 30th anniversary edition. It's a very, very fun game. Uh, you're trying to escape this sinking island uh, and uh, people are trying to prevent you from getting your people to safety while you're trying to do the same to other people and trying to do your best job of getting your people to safety uh, as many as you can. A very tricky game, it can be a bit mean, but that's part of the fun in this game, and that's quite a good challenge, and it's a pretty quick game, it plays in about 45 minutes or so. Next up, finally, there is some attention being paid to Stellar. This is a very cool game, and it is from Renegade Game Studios, who only make good games as far as I can tell. And there was recently a review on this from Shut Up and Sit Down, along with uh, The Search for Planet X, another Renegade game. Uh, both space-themed games, and I love space-themed games. And so definitely check out the review um, for Stellar. We have a whole bunch now, so uh, we're ready for everybody who finds out about this game finally. I'm very excited because I've been hoping that people would finally hear about this game. Hopefully that review from Shut Up and Sit Down will um, be what it takes to uh, get this game going because I think it's very neat. Next up, Onitama the two-player abstract strategy game. And we have three of these. One of them is special ordered. And so we've had this from time to time and we always just get one at a time and it goes. And this time I decided I don't like to have to reorder it all the time and have so many periods where we don't have it in stock. So now we have a few. We'll have at least two in stock for now. So that's Onitama. And then last but not least, Joking Hazard. Um, from the minds of the twisted comic Cyanide and Happiness, Joking Hazard is an adult party game where you compete with your friends to finish an awful three panel comic with millions of possible combinations. I've played this, it's a lot of fun. I greatly prefer this over Cards Against Humanity. Yeah, so we have this in stock too, we'd run out. And I know that this is gonna be a popular game in the holiday season, so I didn't wanna be without that for very long. All right, so that is it for this quick unboxing. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Uh, appreciate if you could give that video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it uh, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell so that you know when new new videos come out also uh, share with your friends and tell them that the cafe is open uh, and you can let them know that we are taking um, COVID-19 safety very seriously we have these great uh, plexiglass dividers in the cafe and um, we have a upgraded ventilation system for the air uh, and masks are mandatory in the cafe and uh, that will hopefully give, give everybody comfort to be able to enjoy their time at the cafe, as well as making us and our staff uh, more comfortable to be there as well during this difficult time. And uh, so that's it for this video. Again, thanks very much for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe. Be calm. Be kind. Thank you. Bye.